Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we're looking at ticker symbol GSS. What a nice uptrend. Uh, the the uh, candles have been riding the pink and green lines, which is EMAs 4 and 8 support higher during the uptrend. As you can see, the uptrend started here on the 22nd of January with the close above the middle Bollinger Band. Uh, this close back here in the first week of January was telling you that the chart was heating up after the, the, the uh, in December there were multiple uh, uh, attempts to break the middle Bollinger Band but each time uh, GSS failed to close above that level so when that happened the first week of January that was telling you okay the chart's heating up and then on the 22nd the close above was, was the signal that a new uh, uptrend might be starting and then uh, there you go the, the candles have been riding EMA's 4 and 8 support higher right now uh, EMA 4 on the current run as you can see the pink line has been holding as support and so uh, uh, look for that to, uh, to uh, if there's a, a close below that level the, the next support level is going to be the EMA 8 at 0 0.378 now that that has held during the during the run as you can see the um, it was tested here at the start of the run and then it was tested again here and the, um, the the entire time since January there hasn't been a close below EMA 8 so if there is a close below that level that's going to put the middle Bollinger Band here on deck at 0 0.293 as long as middle Bollinger Band support holds this new uptrend or this uptrend that's been going on for several weeks should continue uh, the, the upper Bollinger Band is the top of the channel so as you can see there is a close well above the upper Bollinger Band today okay let's look at the next chart this is the chart that we posted a few days ago and this shows the gap on the chart okay between uh, the the top of this candle open and the bottom of the next candle close the the top of the wick and the bottom of the wick there's still a gap on the chart but the, the candles continue to run higher as you can see the uh, candles pushed above this uh, May resistance level so uh, you know made a new 52 week high the, the, this circle here represents the 52 week high level and so uh, th th this uh, top of the of this candle was the 52 week high and so now there's a break above that level and so in order to find resistance we have to look on a longer chart so uh, let's take a look at the at the next chart here and you can see uh, this is a weekly chart and what this is showing is the, the 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages. And as you can see here, the uh, back here in 2013, this uh, uh, 40, you know, 49 to 50 zone was a, a key uh, support level support resistance level you could see it was uh, support here at the beginning of the year then it broke um, it turned into resistance and then the the sh uh, when the candles broke above that in 2014 it, it turned into a big support level here in uh, 2014 and then the can once once this uh, 4950 level broke the candles really dropped and there was a big pullback so now the the share price is back at that level and so uh, w what the uh, uh, bulls are looking for is they want to turn this red horizontal resistance line green so you want to see a close above that if that happens um, and, and the this uh, 4950 level turns into support that's going to put 70 on deck so the the 200 day moving average is the next key level to break at 70 70 cents and the uh, the close uh, two weeks ago here above the 100 day moving average at 0 0.33 was the uh, signal that, that there was more upside potential and so uh, the uh, th that ended up putting the 200-day uh, moving average on deck. So um, keep keep an eye on that. If if the 50 level breaks, there should be more upside potential to the 200-day moving average. Okay, thanks for viewing this chart. Check us out at mychartcoach.com or at our, our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.